Hello there, my name is Anthony Barocas with AEP Communications, and today I am talking to you in 4K using a B4 Magic on a GH4 in 4K using a B4 mount Canon J15 by 8 B4 IRS. I feel like how I've got this all scripted and everything. Well, the uh, question was, does it cover? Oh, uh, according to my looking at the viewfinder, it doesn't look like it covers, but it probably would help if I took the um, hood off. There we go. So that's with the hood off. You can see, I think I can see a little bit of fringing way over here in the corner, and way down here, and a little over there. <laughs> but this is zoomed all the way out to 8 millimeters on this lens, and... Uh, I would say that's almost completely, that's really good coverage. Uh, I would probably crop into this just a hair, maybe so I'd have like 3.5K as opposed to 4K and just crop into this a little bit. So let me play around with the lens. I'll talk you through what I'm doing and we'll see what we can see with the B4 Magic. Right now this is without the doubler and this is with the doubler. This is without the doubler, so you can see like it's clearly not with the doublers in. So in, out. So we'll continue on. Ugh, besides, that's starting to hurt my hand. So, all right. This is the view of the yard. Uh, I got the focus set at 50. Uh, if you get something really close, let's take this down to focus of two and a half feet. Two and a half feet, 50 feet, uh, six feet. So you can see when you pull the focus close, it tends to creep in a little bit. So, but I don't know how much you're gonna be having an, a long ENG lens and shoot it two and a half feet from you. I mean, that's right here. You know, I'm gonna reach out and touch someone. Uh, this is an F4. Well, it doesn't really matter. There you go to F2.8, we'll go to 2.8. And uh, let me take the servo off so I can quick zoom it in. Well, that's too bright. There we go. I got zebras on. So let me zoom back out. Okay. So when I zoom in right about here, uh, I can see it 30 millimeters. I no longer see anything uh, in the corners of the B4 Magic. Again, not doubled. This is doubled. This is not. Uh, we go to 60 millimeters, 120 millimeters. So, excuse the handheld shaky stuff. You can see that it is pretty solid, um, especially at longer lengths. We are again at F4. Do do do. 15 millimeters starting to creep in. Eight millimeters. It's actually worse at 15 millimeters but again I think cropping this in just a hair in post this is again this is 4k on the GH4 so cropping this a hair in post down to like I don't know three and a half K would probably get rid of all of that um, and again this is the bare lens if I put the lens hood on that's this thing if I put the lens hood on and your mileage may vary depending upon your lens hood uh, actually, now you don't see it. <laughs> but when I was out at 8, you saw the sides. See the sides creep in there? So that's the, that's the hood thing that's on the front. That's probably not for this lens, but when I bought it used off of eBay, that's what was on here. So it may not be the proper um, shroud for this thing. And I guess that's all to really um, show with this lens. So... I'm gonna spin it back around. Ugh. Again, my name is Anthony Barocas from IEBA Communications doing a quick look at the B4 Magic on a GH4 in 4K using a B4 lens that is not doubled just to see coverage and vignetting. Thanks for watching.